The Harvest Adiprep Adipose Concentration System is designed for efficient concentration of autologous adipose tissue for use in medical lipograft procedures. In less than 10 minutes, the Adiprep system generates concentrated adipose tissue from a sample of lipoaspirate while removing contaminants such as inflammatory oils and lipids and infernatin fluid. The resulting purified adipose concentrate can then be utilized for clinical lipografting procedures such as facial contouring. Recent studies indicate that refinement of lipoaspirate prior to implantation may promote graft retention, leading to improved clinical reproducibility and better aesthetic outcomes. The Adiprep adipose concentration system is intended for use in the following surgical specialties when the concentration of harvested adipose tissue is desired. Arthroscopic surgery, gastrointestinal surgery, general surgery, gynecological surgery, laparoscopic surgery, neurosurgery, plastic and reconstructive surgery, thoracic surgery, and urological surgery. Adiprep technology is based on a proprietary floating lipid barrier disc built into the processing disposable, which efficiently separates oils and lipids from adipose tissue within the lipoaspirate sample after processing on the Harvest Smart Prep system. After lipoaspirate addition, the processing disposable is loaded into the Smart Prep centrifuge for a brief four minute centrifugation. During processing, the lipoaspirate is separated into three distinct fractions based on their individual specific gravities. The infernatin fluid is the densest fraction and thus settles at the bottom of the disposable, followed by the concentrated adipose tissue fraction. The lightest fraction, the lipids, settle above the floating lipid barrier disc. Upon processing completion, the infernatin fluid is expelled from the disposable, exposing the concentrated adipose fraction for collection and ultimately clinical application. The materials required for isolation of concentrated adipose tissue from a sample of lipoaspirate are a microprocessor controlled smart prep centrifuge system, an Adiprep centrifuge adapter kit. This kit contains centrifuge adapters and a balance weight to enable processing of the Adiprep process disposable in the Smart Prep system. A convenient syringe stand designed for use during Adiprep processing is included. The syringe stand is not packaged sterile and should be autoclaved prior to use. Also provided is a two placeholder for the Adiprep process disposable which may be attached directly to the Smart Prep workstation. And finally, an Adiprep procedure pack kit. The procedure pack kit contains all the materials needed to collect and process up to approximately 27 milliliters of lipoaspirate to generate concentrated adipose tissue. From an initial 27 milliliter sample volume of lipoaspirate collected using proper technique, each processing disposable will yield 12 to 18 milliliters of concentrated adipose tissue. The procedure pack is available with optional cannulas for collection of lipoaspirate. Prior to the start of lipoaspirate processing, all contents within the procedure pack should be opened within the sterile field. The donor site should be prepared following sterile and aseptic technique. A sterile drape is provided to isolate the donor site. Anesthetize the donor puncture site with the 25 gauge needle provided. Create a puncture hole through the skin only using the 18 gauge needle. This opening provides an access point for the lipoaspiration cannulas. Fill a 20 milliliter syringe with tumescent anesthetic fluid and attach the multiport infiltrator cannula. Insert the cannula through the skin puncture site, entering the subdermal fat layer. The cannula should perforate and remain below scarpus fascia in the abdomen. 
pass the infiltrator cannula in a horizontal manner within the fat deposit, creating a spokes-on-the-wheel pattern. Slowly inject tumescent fluid during both entry and withdrawal strokes. It is important to evenly distribute the tumescent fluid during injection and avoid pooling of fluid within the donor site. Pooling of fluid will prevent adequate suspension of adipose tissue and result in collection of less adipose tissue upon harvesting. As a general guideline for small volume liposuction, at least one milliliter of tumescent fluid should be injected for every one milliliter of lipoaspirate to be collected. Once distribution of the tumescent fluid is complete, a pre-tunneling step should be undertaken prior to harvesting. During pre-tunneling, multiple passes are made with the infiltrator cannula through the donor area in the same spokes on the wheel pattern. This step helps evenly distribute the local anesthetic fluid and more effectively suspends the adipose tissue. After pre-tunneling, the donor site is ready for harvesting. Attach the harvesting cannula to a 20 milliliter collection syringe and insert into the donor site. Once inserted, apply vacuum pressure by extending the syringe plunger using a syringe locking device such as the Johnny Snap provided with the kit. Aspirate adipose tissue by passing the harvesting cannula in a forward and back motion on the same plane and direction as used during pre-tunneling. Once the first collection syringe is filled, repeat as necessary with additional syringes until the desired amount of lipoaspirate is collected. It is recommended that some extra lipoaspirate be collected during the liposuction procedure to account for any excess fluid that may be present in the sample. This will maximize the amount of adipose tissue loaded into the adiprep process disposable. An optional wash may be performed in cases where lipoaspirate samples contain significant blood content. This step will help further purify the adipose sample by removing red blood cells and other blood components. After filling collection syringes with lipoaspirate, replace the cannula with a tip cap on the end of each syringe. With the tip cap facing down, place each syringe vertically into a decant rack. Allow the lipoaspirate to stand for at least one minute. The infranatant fluid will settle to the bottom of the syringe. Expel the separated infranatant fluid out of each collection syringe into disposable cups. Attach a female-to-female -female connector to the first collection syringe and connect to an empty sterile 30 milliliter syringe. Position the connected syringes so the collection syringe is on the bottom, vertical to the sample syringe. Expel the lipoaspirate solution into the empty wash syringe. Fill a separate 10 milliliter syringe with 8 to 10 milliliters of sterile saline. Connect the syringe containing saline to the wash syringe via the female to female connector. Position the connected syringes so the saline syringe is on the bottom, vertical to the wash syringe. Expel the saline solution into the wash syringe. Place a tip cap on the wash syringe and invert the wash mixture three to five times. With the tip cap facing down, place the syringe vertically into a decant rack. Allow the wash mixture to settle for at least one minute. While the first sample is settling, complete the wash steps for the second collection syringe. Once each sample has settled, Expel the separated wash solution out of each wash syringe into disposable cups. Be careful not to expel any of the adipose tissue. The samples are now ready for transfer to the adiprep disposable for processing. Once each collection syringe is filled with lipoaspirate, Replace the harvester cannula with a tip cap on the end of the syringe. With the tip cap facing down, place the syringe vertically into the decant rack. Allow the lipoaspirate samples to stand for at least one minute. The infranatant fluid will settle to the bottom of the syringe. Expel the separated infranatant fluid out of each sample syringe into a disposable cup. 
Prior to transferring a lipo aspirate to the process disposable, be sure that the disposable plunger is completely depressed and flush with the lipid barrier disc at the bottom of the syringe. Attach a female to female connector to the collection syringe. Attach the process disposable to the collection syringe via the female to female connector. Position the connected syringes so the collection syringe is on the bottom, vertical to the process disposable. Expel the lipoaspirate sample into the process disposable. Repeat the sample transfer steps for the second collection syringe until the process disposable is completely filled. If the process disposable is still not completely filled after transfer of all the lipoaspirate, fill the remaining volume with sterile saline. Ensure that the plunger handle is completely extended to the back edge of the syringe barrel. Slide the plunger handle laterally to remove it from the process disposable. Be sure to retain the handle as it will be reattached after processing. Attach the green tip cap by screwing it onto the end of the processing disposable syringe. It is important to remove the plunger handle prior to attaching the green tip cap to ensure easy reattachment of the syringe handle after disposable processing. The process disposable may now be passed off the sterile field for processing on the Smart Prep device. Open the lid to the Smart Prep centrifuge and insert the Adiprep adapters into each trunnion. Align the white dots on the adapters and Smart Prep rotor to ensure a proper fit. Place the processing disposable, green tip cap pointing down, into the sample holder in one of the adapters. Place the green balance weight into the sample holder in the remaining adapter. Close the centrifuge lid and start the centrifuge cycle. For Smart Prep 2 systems with serial numbers 101 to 5999, press the green start button. For Smart Prep 2 systems with serial numbers 6000 and above, press the blue PRP button. The approximate centrifuge runtime is 4 minutes. While the minimum centrifuge time is 4 minutes, the Adiprep disposable may be processed through the entire 14 minute centrifugation cycle with no negative impact on the adipose tissue sample. Once the display reads 10 on the Smart Prep 2 control panel, Press the red stop button to stop the centrifuge cycle. An audible alarm will sound once the cycle has been completed and it is safe to open the centrifuge lid and remove the process disposable. Remove the process disposable from the centrifuge. The lipoaspirate sample will have separated into three discrete fractions after processing. The infranatant fluid present on the bottom layer closest to the green tip cap the concentrated adipose tissue present in the middle layer, the lipids present on the top layer as a bright yellow fluid just above the floating lipid barrier disc. Reattach the syringe handle and remove the green tip cap. Expel the infranatant fluid into a disposable cup until the concentrated adipose tissue layer is reached. Be careful not to expel the concentrated adipose tissue out of the syringe. Within the sterile field, attach a female to female connector to a sterile treatment syringe. While maintaining the treatment syringe's position in the sterile field, attach the Adiprep process disposable via the female to female connector. From the sterile field, draw the concentrated adipose tissue into the treatment syringe. Remove the treatment syringe from the female to female connector, leaving it behind with the processing disposable outside the sterile field. The concentrated adipose tissue is now ready for clinical use.